okay, looking at the problem, there's many ways to do it. Do not think for a moment that I am telling you this is the right way to do anything. But what I did was I make a substitution. And by the way, it may not work. So if I said this over here, you know, you have to say, so well, if that's true, well, I'd have to write something down, wouldn't I? So the question is, what would I have to get? I'd have to get this thing to look like, you know, somewhere there's an x squared minus that x plus 37. And to do that, it may be impossible. I'm not saying it's going to be possible. Well, what do you get over here? If you look at this thing over here, this is really 8x. And what would you get over here? Plus, well, that's 80 and 1696, right? So I would rewrite this thing to look like the radicand. And that's going to be x squared minus 8x. Well, I see that. And then what do I want? I want plus 37. All right, so let's, let's write that down. So someone says, what are, you, what are you doing there? Well, I'm looking at this, right, which is actually, I got that. I have the minus 8x, right? I have this. I've got this. I don't have the 37. What do I have, though? What I have over here is I have a number 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 36 to that. Right, so if you add 36 to that, you would get 37. But remember, I'd have to subtract 30. You know what? Let me make it a little bit more neat. And I'll, 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 I realize that sometimes when I'm talking, you may not be able to follow what I'm saying. Let me write this down for you. So x squared plus 1 plus the root x squared minus 8x plus 37 equals 8x plus that's going to be 96. Let me write this down then. 8x, I'm sorry, x squared minus 8x. 96 from 1 is going to be minus 95. Don't panic yet. And this is going to be x squared minus 8x plus 37 equals 0. x squared minus 8x. I want 37. So what does that mean? I got to take 37. We already have a minus 95 there. Then what do you get? Plus that awful looking root thing. And that's going to be x squared minus 8x plus 37 equals 0. Yes, I know I'm writing quickly and writing quite small. I see this, and I see this. And I said this was that. So what's this going to be? This would be u squared then. Then what do you get? Plus u. That's this thing. I got these things to covered. Whoops, u. What's minus 37 minus 95 minus 132, and that equals zero. So we got it in terms of a, a U problem now, which may be easier to deal with, and it does look easier to deal with. And why is that? U, U, it's going to be zero. Looks like 11 and 12. And plus 12 minus 11. So U could be 11, or U could be minus 12. I hope you realize that U cannot be minus 12 if we're in a real number system. That's not working out. So I got U to be 11. So then someone says, well, use 11. What do you do? You write it down. Use 11, and it equals that root problem. Then what do you do? Square both sides. Right? Let me write that down for you. You get 121 equals X squared minus 8X plus 37. Again, I'm using a zero product rule if I can. If not, I go to the quadratic. And what would that give you? That would give you 84. I'm sorry, not 84, minus 84. Let me write that down for you. And let me see if that's true. 84 and 37 is going to be uh, 110. And then 7 and 4 is 11. Yeah, 121. And then I, I, I hope it's going to factor, because I don't want to go to the quadratic form. It's really... It's almost nightmarish at times. Yeah, I'm looking at 84. I'm going to say 6 and 14. That's 60 and 24 is 84. And 6 and 14 differ by 8. So it's going to be minus 14 plus 6. And what do you get? X equals minus 6. And the other answer you get is X equals 14. Now, I, I, I can't say this enough times. I really think you should check it. And you might say, I'm not going to check that. It's too much work. But at a minimum... What you should be doing is, I think you really should check it. And someone says, why do you check it? Just to make sure it's right, all right? So what do you do? You plug it in. And again, I want to tell you where you plug it in. You plug it in here. So you plug in the minus 6, check it. 
and you plug in the 14 and check it. And they're going to work. They're going to work beautifully. All right. Now, granted, I say they're going to work. You may say, you know what? I checked them and you're crazy. These things don't work. There's no way they work. And you could tell me why they don't work. But anyway, I recommend you check these guys. Check. I also recommend if you can't get it, you think I made a mistake, please reach out to me. What's my name, Ron Bannon? What's my email address? B as in boy, at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. By the way, I know I'm speaking quickly through these problems here. The number one reason is we're at the 40th problem. You should be going through these things quickly, all right? Really quickly, by the way. Seeing these patterns, writing this down. This is not the first problem, by the way. You know what's in the first problem? I probably drone on way too long about how to do the problem. Thank you.